Hello and welcome to this uh, special segment on NewsX uh, where we track uh, the single most important question on everyone's mind, who's winning 2024? My name is Vineet and ladies and gentlemen, you will be able to see the exit polls right here on NewsX at 6 p.m. on the 1st and the results all live all day on the 4th of June. Until then, we are getting you this daily expertometer where analysts put together what they feel is the pulse. We are being joined by Mr. Himanshu Bhatt, who is a political analyst and a regular TV commentator. Mr. Bhatt, appreciate you joining us. The big question is 543 seats. What is going to be the division according to you? Quick answers to all of these questions, 10 to 15 seconds each, sir. We start with the overall Lok Sabha seats. Overall Lok Sabha seats, I could see, you know, BJP and NDLA is reaching near 400 but not crossing it. At present, that is on today's scenario, the mood. Saturated states, I have divided into three parts. Saturated states, surprise states, and where Congress could be relevant. These are the three types of states I have divided. And come to my conclusion. Okay, let's begin with the states now. Tamil Nadu has been an inspirational and an aspirational state for the Bharati Janata Party. They drew a blank last time. What can we expect in 2024? See, I'll tell you one thing. I'll put it this way. 3.66% vote to 16-17% to vote will propel Bharatiya Janata Party and NDA in Tamil Nadu to 6 to 9 seats. That is what I foresee. Okay. And the amount of voting which I see and enthusiasm for that, BJP will certainly make a lend that. Okay, well, there has been an anti-incumbency already against the government in Karnataka, the uh, local government in Karnataka, which is the Congress party. Is that going to reflect how the people are going to vote for uh, this particular state in the Lok Sabha elections as well? We are talking about Karnataka now. Anti-incumbency and along with that, we have had a love jihad issue right now. And that the wealth distribution today. Now, these are the three things combined together will have a lot of effect on a Congress government. Anti-incumbency will set in there and they'll lose badly there. Hmm. All right, let's talk about uh, Madhya Pradesh now. It is another state which uh, the BJP can comfortably say belongs to them. Yes, it belongs to them. It's a saturated state, one of the saturated states, where in, when, I, when I call a saturated state, it means more than 50 to 55 percent of the total votes polled that BJP has been getting. Hmm. And in Madhya Pradesh, you will find that at an average, their vote percentage is never less than 50, around, hovering around 55 percent. Okay. Let's move on to Rajasthan, sir. Your prediction for Rajasthan. Rajasthan, there will be a couple of seats where there will be a little difference. But then otherwise, it's also another one of the saturated states along with Gujarat. Hmm. Okay. Gujarat, of course, is a no-brainer once again. Uh, mm. dominant in favor of the Bharati Janata Party for decades now. Yes, right? because there is absolutely no opposition. Right, and you give zero to any other party, 26 seats, uh, all of them going to the Bharati Janata Party. Delhi, could Delhi see a change in mood this time around? Seven seats, the BJP got no. all seven of them. Does the Aam Aadmi Party get some sort of a sympathy? No, I don't think Aam Aadmi Party will get some some sort of sympathy. In fact, they will lose whatever sympathy they had for Aam Aadmi Party. <laughs> okay. Uttar Pradesh, sir, of course, it's considered Uttar to be Pradesh, a kingmaker, kingmaker state. Yes. Uttar Pradesh, there is a scope of improvement and BJP will rather do well. I have a feeling because last time around, there was a combination of BSP and SP, which resulted in the loss of 16 seats for BJP and Alliance. Which is but no this longer time there. around. With SP and BSP both separately fighting, I expect about 70 to 75 seats with BJP and its allies taking off. Okay, Bihar, Himanshu Bhatt. Yes, Bihar is going to be somewhat similar like last time, but not that similar. That is, last time they got around 39 seats, I expect about 37 seats this time because Nitish is going to lose in couple of seats. Yeah. All right, Maharashtra. Maharashtra is a confused voter and Maharashtra more than NDA or more than more than BJP it's going to be you know this smaller regional parties getting split is going to play a big role and Maharashtra is right. not going to be simple for NDA. Okay, I've saved the best for the last West Bengal 18 for the BJP last time around. 
will they better it or will it be worse? They will, uh, BJP and TMC will reverse their carries. Just watch. They will better it. There will be anything in between 22 to 25 BJP and TMC will come to 18. Well, that's a huge statement that you've made. 23 seats for the Bharti Janta Party, 18 for the TMC and one for the Congress Party as Congress. well. Mr. Bhatt, uh, thank you so much for being on Expertometer. Really appreciate your feedback. And once again, on 4th of June, we'll connect again and see and verify and perhaps even validate your claims today. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.